So most of you have selected WITS as your digital curation project, so I'd like to go over some of the key features of Wix so that you can use it easily. To start with, I logged into my Wix, and now I'm going to edit the site, so I'm going to choose, right-click here, and say Open in a New Tab. And here it's Open in a New Tab. And this is the edited version. When I click this, this is the navigation bar here. So if I click it and choose Navigate, I get all the different pages of my website right here. You'll notice the ones in all caps are the ones going across the top here. That's part of the navigation bar, and those are the main pages. These are sub-pages underneath the main pages, which will show up when I highlight over these on a live website. Now to add a page, all you have to do is click Add Page right here. And when you add this page, you have all these different formats that will show you. So if you know what you want that page to look like, you can click the format that's most like it. You can always edit it, but start with something that kind of looks like what you want it to. Name your page, and then I'm going to choose Add it as a sub-page because this isn't going to be a main page. Then when you click OK, you should get to your new page. And what you'll notice is here it is. And since I added as a home, I'm sorry. Is since I added as a sub page, I can move it around so that it'll be underneath what it, whatever main page I want it to be. Now there's other things I can do to change that page. When I click on this, see I can change the name of the page. And this is the page address, so that will be up in the bar up here. If someone wants to go directly to that page. And if you want to delete a page, it's right here. The word delete is right up here. You click on that and it will delete the page. So that's how you navigate the pages by moving them, adding a page. If I, if I make it a main page, it'll be all in caps and it will be across the top here. Now, once you have your page, you can edit it. And this is the layout that they've given me, but you see I can change it around. I can take this text box and delete it if I don't want it. I can move this up. I can make it larger, I can get rid of a text box or um, a picture if I want. So do you see how you can move things around so that it looks the way you want to look? If I don't like this brown and I want to change the color, I can go to settings, or I can change the style here, and notice how I can have these different styles. I kind of like this one the best, so I'm going to click OK. Now I can move this title around. If I want a picture here, they give me an image, but I want to change the image, I can click here, and I can upload my own images. So I can click on this, and then upload any image that I have that I want to be in my website. Once I upload my images, then all I have to do is click on it. If I double click, that'll come right here. There. Now I can change what it looks like over here, where it says image scaling. I can crop it. I can stretch it, I can center it, I can fit it to the box, I can make the box larger or smaller. So that's how you upload an image and you can put it wherever you want on the page. If you put it in this box, it'll be attached to the box, so when you move the box the picture will go with it. And then you can edit this title and add whatever words you want here. If you want to change the color, highlight it and there's color change in here and all the other features that you know about text are right there. Changing the size here. Now you can add other things to your page besides pictures and text. You can make it a multimedia page by clicking on the plus sign here. Notice that you can add all these different things. Shapes and lines, buttons, gallery of images, images. So I'm going to show you how to make add some media. Let's say you want to add a video. So first you'll need to go get your video and get the URL of the video. So here I have this video that's the middle school talent show and I might want to add that to my page. So to do that I need to get the URL. I'm going to click share and here's the URL right there. So I'm going to copy that and go back to my website and now when I choose video right here it has the video URL. So I'm going to paste my video and update it and as you can see, now that video is on my page. I can put it 
wherever I want on the page. I can move this around and I can add it my text and I have a video on my play page. Notice that I can auto play it so that it automatically plays when someone comes to the site, which I don't recommend. I can loop it and so those are things you can do if you want to add video. Now if you want to add audio, you can add an audio player here that will play audio. So if you make something for your site, when you click on that, it says my library is empty so I can upload an audio file. So all I have to do is go get my audio file. So whatever I want to do, let's see, I can add this blue 10, open it, it will upload and now I can add it to my page. And now it's on my page, so if I'm previewing it, see up here I can preview my website. When I click on that, I can hear my other file. So anything that's in your computer that's an audio file, an MP3 file, you can add it to your web page. So let's go back to the editor mode. And you can see that those are ways that you can add media to your website. Another thing you can do is add widgets to your website. A widget is uh, some kind of an object that is interactive. So to do that, we're going to click Add, and we'll go down here to Apps, and within Widget, what we want to do is embed it. So we need to get to the code page, even though we don't need to know code. So I'm going to click on HTML, and here's something that I can embed right on my page. So let's go get something that we can embed on our page some of the tools that we used in class we can be embedded. So for example a Vokey. So let's put a Vokey there. So I'm going to go to my Vokey. So here I am on my Vokey. I'm going to go to my Vokeys here and I can either create a new one or go to one that I already made. So let's get this back channel one. If I view the Vokey it'll come up here and what I should click here is publish your Vokey. I want to try to get the embed code. When you publish your Vokey, it gives us the embed code. So I can just copy that and go back to my website here. And When I click on this gray box, notice this says website address, but I want to change this to HTML code and I'm going to paste it. Now when I update it, the Vokey will appear on my page. Here it is. So when people come to my page, they'll be able to play my Vokey. Since all of you have created a Vokey, you should be able to do that. Now there's other things that you can add to your page, like a Google form. So let's look at this form here. I went, made a new form. What do you think of these tools? And I want to embed the form right on my website. So to do that, I'm going to click on this blue button over here that says Send Form and then click on the word embed and it gives me this embed code. So I'm going to copy the code, go back to my website, click on HTML so I get the box again. When I double click the box I can change this to HTML code and paste my code. When I update there's the Google form right on my website. I'm going to resize it so the whole form is shown and there it is. So someone can come on my website, fill out my survey, and it will go right into my Google Forms. Now another thing that I can put right on my web page is the Wall Wisher that you saw this week. So I went to my Wall Wisher account, created a wall, and over here you can see where it says share this wall. And it gives us, guess what, an embed code. So I'm going to copy that, go back to my website, and see if you notice what I you think I'm going to do. I'm going to click on HTML code, put the gray box somewhere, and double click on it, change the website address to HTML code, and paste. And when I update it, there's the wall right on my website. I can make it larger, bring it down here. Notice how the page gets bigger every time I add something to it and there's my wall right on my website. So you can see that you can add images, text, video, sound, and you can also embed things like Vokey's, Google Forms, and a wall. 
There's many other things you can embed as you learn about new tools. You'll be able to put them on your website. So have fun! <laughs>